Homemade rubies. Hey everybody, we were just looking at, like Andrew just said, homemade rubies. We're just sitting here and I put the black light on those dots right there and watch this. Look how bright they are. Isn't that incredible? It's just incredible. We're having a good time with this. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Chris and Andrew Outside. Today we're actually inside because we're going to be doing some stuff with rocks. We're going to be making rubies. Homemade in the garage. Homemade rubies. in the garage rubies. So Andrew, let them know what's in there. Uh, so normally uh, we watch a couple different YouTubes, Elemental Maker and Knockin' Night Hawkin' knockin Light. Light. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but we watched them. The ratio that they had was one gram of uh, chromium oxide to 99 of aluminum oxide uh, so we split that in half but right now in this cup we have a pretty good mix uh, 1200 grit aluminum oxide as far as you can usually find it and sandblasting um, it's kind of a fine grit that they use for an abrasive to get rid of the paint and stuff um, but it will work with this so uh, we got it 1200 fine so it mixes really well um, with that chromium oxide as far as um, the picture so so what we've got over here, we've got this really shallow um, graphite, it's a, it's a crucible basically. We've got some deeper ones, some bigger ones, but initially we're going to try just making them in this and seeing if we can just produce some type of rubies. We're going to be using the method of using the uh, electrodes. Yeah, so we just have uh, carbon electrodes, uh, electrodes um, that are used for normally arc welding. Uh, we have a Lincoln uh, TIG machine that also does stick, so we're going to be able to run that um, with this. Uh, from the videos, the processes, we'll do a link in the description so that way you can check them out because they're awesome videos. Uh, you just start the, strike the arc um, with that chemical or the compound and burn it and melt it together. With that, it has a chemical reaction that will create the, the ruby. So. Yep, the arc is reaching the proper temperature to actually melt the aluminum oxide and the chromium together. The uh, aluminum oxide by itself is, you know, um, basically the main chemical component for a ruby or a sapphire, whereas the chromium is what gives a ruby the red color. It's the impurity. And the one way to tell if we will have a ruby or if we made one is to double check it with a, a black, uh, black light. So I got one right here that we'll be able to use. So, so normally when you put it in there, it won't really glow. Yep. Um, obviously, with the reflection of the cup, it goes a little bit, but, but a ruby will shine a really, really bright red. Yep. So, so. wish us luck. <laughs> yep. Alright, we'll be back with some more. Alright. 
So I was able to run it a little bit earlier, so we're gonna let Chris run it now. As far as uh, the machine, we have it obviously on on AC right now. Um, Electroid running really good. It gets really hot. We're trying to figure out a way to configure the crucible to be able to get the most powder uh, burnt and Ruby created comparable to it just dispersing. So we're gonna try a couple different methods here. Most likely we're gonna end up having to use these deeper crucibles to keep the powder from going everywhere. So. But we'll find out.
much, so I can't really see up in there. All right, so we actually changed a little bit. We just added a little bit more chromium in there to see if we can get a little bit more red out of the color. Uh, I'm gonna load up the press to run it. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we can get a little bit. It's glowing. Per I mean, fantastically. Yep. Uh, <laughs> but we want to make sure that we get a little bit more ran out of it. So. <laughs> Thank you. 